guess who's late? Me. So sorry, you guys. Um, I, I ran out of time and I don't have any makeup on and I want you to know it. And I'm going down to the office now. And uh, I didn't want to make you wait any longer. So here we are. Got to flip lights on and everything. Hope you don't mind. So, sorry. There's that giant hat that John Shazowski got me. Hey guys, I did. Uh, I had a problem. I'm late. I'm so sorry. Whew. Um, my I took Gertie out to potty, and my neighbors were outside with their dog, and that never happens. And I had to leash her, and it was a whole thing. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Sorry I had to, uh, I had my computer upstairs today, so I had to carry it down. Yeah, casual Reese is absolutely right. Hold on just a second. Man, I'm really off my game today. Hello. Uh, yeah, Joe Virus. I love Joe. Did I bring my drink down? I sure did. Guys. All I did was put lipstick on. I got nothing on. I haven't even showered yet. That's gross. I know. Hey, Abigail. I have been doing that weird transition thing today. You know how you do this every year and you don't expect to do it that day? Like I wasn't planning to do it. So I have been transitioning winter summer clothes and, and getting rid of th getting things ready for the thrift store. But you know how it just starts like a little bit and you're like, huh. I should get rid of that. And then you're like, oh, that's really disorganized. I should organize that. And then it turns into a seven hour project. That's what I've been doing today. The only thing I did do though, is I break, I took a break. I broke for lunch. I didn't eat lunch, but I sat out on the patio and I tried to get some sun. And so I looked kind of red, um, but all I did was put lipstick on. I got nothing on. I'm so sorry. I haven't done anything. Hey, Keela. Hey, Kim, uh, Kim Leaf. Blakey. So I'm going to keep this short. Crystal, I love you, girl, because I still have to take a shower. Um, I still have so much to do. I'm in the middle of laundry. It's one of those things. Yeah, it's one of those stupid things where you're like, I think I'm going to get busy. And uh, whoa, it turned into the whole day. So it's a good thing. I feel productive. But um, I mean, I think I lost weight, honestly. Like I have been carrying things up and down the stairs. Um. You got your lady co-ordered. Good for you, Rhonda Rambles. I love that. I'm having tacos with your family tonight. Would you be so kind to say hi to Sharon? And is it Gary or Jerry? Women sometimes spell it Jerry, but then there's a Gary Optical in Kansas City that pronounces that Gary. So Sharon and Jerry Gary, good evening. And I love you guys. And I love, 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 love Cricket. And uh, she's one of a kind. Sandy McKenna. Oh my God. So Tony's Hooter. I'm really embarrassed right now. I'm so embarrassed. Jerry. Okay. Okay. It's Jerry. Tony's Hooter. Um, me too. Mimi's. Mima's. Mimi's. Can't read. Okay. I saw Tommy talking to you the other night on one of his lives. And I feel like the most dumb person that this world has ever seen. He pronounced it Tony Shooter. And why I didn't see the word shooter in your name all this time. I've been calling you Tony's Hooter. <laughs> that is such a classic Reese thing to do um, that. I actually, I felt sorry for myself. I, I started to feel sorry for myself. Um, it's like when you sing a song and you thought you knew the lyrics and you sing it in front of people. And it's like, totally not those lyrics. Like the, She's got a chicken to ride and it's in my hair. That song. And I think it's really like she's got a ticket or something, but I've always said she's got a chicken to ride. Yeah. Um, Martha Slemmer. Yeah. So it's definitely one of those moments where I've been saying Tony's Hooter and I heard Tommy and he said Tony Shooter. And I was like, Hmm, that actually makes a lot more sense. Wow. Marion Calabro, I got to talk to you last night and you're so cute. I love you. Jen Marie, good for you, girl. You're getting interviewed. Uh, yeah. 
Rock the cat box. Yes. Um, oh yeah, there's a bathroom on the right. <laughs> We've all done it. Everybody's done it. Uh, but uh, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit embarrassed. I'm a little bit embarrassed. K-Fake, love you, Christy. So these are from yesterday, these braids, and they got to go. I got to wash my hair. I got to wash it tonight. Why, Kaz? Ride that chicken. Yes, girl. It's embarrassing as all get out. But you know what? I'm with my friends. We're in good company. And I know you guys understand. Thank you for your super chat, my friend. Uh, hey, Jilbo. Cheshire Cat. Tampa B texted me and I, sorry, but I got to check on it. I really love Tampa B. Everybody knows it. It's no secret. Uh, Snake, I know. It's awful. Hey, Liz R. Lily Garfield. Lino. Um, yeah. So, you know, there's no way around it. There's no way trying to back out of it. You just have to own up to it, accept it, and uh, move on. So I will call you Tony Shooter from now on. I have to be honest, I'm going to miss Tony Shooter. I mean, it's kind of something I coined. You know, for all you know, I was doing it intentionally. I feel like this hat's a little bit loose. I just got this on Poshmark. I've been wanting it for a long time. And it's super expensive if you buy it from Aviator Nation. And I got it for 20 bucks. And now I understand why. It's like misshapen and weird. Hey, Lori E. Is Barb in here, Tampa B? Okay, well, now that's just way too tight. <laughs> Mary. Yes, see, we've all done it. Everybody's done it. I don't care. I rarely have embarrassing moments, like where people get embarrassed about something. I don't really care. Probably comes from being a Scientologist. See how it's like misshapen? It doesn't look quite right to me. Barbara, are you in here? Why are you texting me? Why aren't you in the chat, Barbara? Your ass is grass. Hi, Baby Steps 22. I know, Lori Swenson, I agree with that song. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Yeah, that too. Hey, Stephanie East. So that's, that's what I've been doing today. Um, I chatted with Tommy for a little bit today. I gotta be honest, I am like, so fired up about last night. How many of you saw last night's chat with the uh, call-in thing? I can't get enough. I can't stop thinking about it. It changed my whole life. Um, what? Your two best friends are subscribed to me. You may end up being lurkers. They may end up being lurkers for a while, but we all know that never lasts for long. That is so adorable and kind. Barb, what are you doing? Hi, Marie J. My eyes are burning. Uh, yeah, it was so, so good. Blake, thank you for that. I love you, Blake. You know it. Last night, Joe Virus rocked my whole world. Going live soon? Oh my God. She just said, are you going live soon? I'll get into bed and watch. Oh my God. I'm live now. Been asking where you are. I mean, what kind of nonsense, honestly? Shannon C, it was so good. Uh, yeah, Jamie Palmer, it was so good. You guys, I am addicted to that. I need a phone. Somebody needs to hook me up to do this. Unless we just want to rely on Tommy and Spanx, which honestly, they are reliable then. I, I feel like we could rely on them, but I'm going to need to do this and I'm going to need to step it up. Laura! Oh my God, I fell asleep and woke up to Blake on the phone. Blake, it's so funny that people don't know that Blake is only 22. I think people assume he's older because he's so wise. Um, he's like the owl from Bambi, but... Uh, he's super young. So it was funny when people heard his voice. I knew he was going to sound like that. But a lot of people were like, wow, he sounds like such a kid. He is a kid. Definitely a kid. Okay, Barb. Now you're just now you're just interrupting with your with your nonsense. Get your ass in here. I've about had it. 
That's the, that's the final straw. Thank you, YouTube user. Jezebella mode. Love your glasses. Thank you. This is probably my favorite pair. I really like an aviator. Blake is like Huxley. Yeah, they would totally be pals if they lived close. So what did you guys think of that? Like, so that's the other thing. I kind of, I kind of want to get, uh, thank you, Janet. I kind of want to get your feedback on this. How often would you, uh, oh, Weird Goodbyes is one of my new favorite songs by them, Bo. Uh, Weird Goodbyes and The Alcott. And you know what's weird about that song is I hated it at first because Taylor Swift is in it. And I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. I don't like her voice. I love her as a person. I think she's amazing as a human being, but I don't think she's talented any other way. Like, I don't think her voice is anything that exciting. The Alcott is a really good one. My new favorite song from their new album is um, New Order T-shirt and Your Mind Is Not Your Friend. I can't stop listening to those songs, Bo. You should give it a try. I love the national. Okay, there she is, Tampa B. We about, we about didn't have time for your nonsense. Your ass was about to be grass. Okay, so once a week, here's the other thing I want to know. Peace lady, you got to watch it. Uh, yeah, Bo, check it. What's the matter? What are you depressed about? Why are you making weird noises? What are you upset about? Did somebody say something that you didn't like? Well, what in the heck happened? Why do you look so sad? Okay. Oh, New Order T-shirt is such a good song. I love the lyrics to pretty much every national song. Um, and I listen on, I just listen on repeat all day long. Every, every song by Nat, the national, all of them. I just listen to them. Uh, Ev Barney, Tampa B man's ass is grass. Um, but I love the lyrics to, um, new order t-shirt. It's sad. That song makes me think of Fred in a lot of ways when he says, um, why is your hair sticky? What happened? What's going on with you? Why do you feel sticky? All right, why don't you sit there and try not talking for a minute. Um, when he says, uh, I keep what I can of you, split second glimpses and snapshots and sounds, you and my new order t-shirt. And then he says, uh, like all these memories, he says, I carry them with me. It's really sad. Um, no, you can't cuss on the lifeboat. That is truly a rule. You cannot cuss on life. I have not listened to the new Billy Joel song. He has new songs. I didn't know that. I love Billy Joel. Um, what was I saying? Okay. So here's what I want to know. What are our thoughts on doing that why does it feel like I want to be in trouble with Reese? I'll take the cutest of my ass is grass. <laughs> Anita card. It's something I've been saying lately. Uh, that and then the other thing we're starting to use is dusty. Don't be a dusty son. Only sadly, like men are dusty. I don't think women can be dusty, but don't be a dusty son. Uh, you love New Order? I do do, Bo Beats. So, okay. What do you guys think about like twice a week? I really kind of want to do that more often, Okay. Tommy had 600 missed calls last night from that show. So I really want to do more. Okay. I know. The other thing I want to know, old ladies are dusty. That can happen. Here's the other question I have. What do you guys think? Would it be better? Thanks, Sarah Browett. Would it be better to do that show on its own? Dusty ass son. It's either one, Bo. Uh, what do you guys think? Hey, Midnight Show, Arwa. If we did that show, but had its own channel. Like possibly the Relate Boat. What would you think if we had our own channel where we just did that show? Or is that overkill? Like, is that too much? But what if it actually turned into something? What do you guys think? And if you say yes to it, do you have another good idea on what you would want to call it? No, Sarah says. Yes, Mark says. 
Oh my God, Mary, that's hilarious. I was 28 of those calls, third eye open. <laughs> Reese only, please. What does that mean? Relate about on its own, but not a new channel. Do it. Okay, so far it's half and half. Uh, yeah, Lisa, it splits views from both of your channels. If we were to simul stream, yes. No, yes. Yes, three hours weekly, relate about. Well, no, we wouldn't start its own channel yet, Stephanie East. This is just maybe down the road kind of a thing. Yeah, I need a card. I agree with you on that. Dusty ass sons and the fantastic Reese. <laughs> Bo Beats isn't over it. She ain't over it. I don't blame her. Can't get mad at Bo Beats. Yeah, Pajama Pixie. I mean, Rachel Harmon, new channel. You would want it on your own channel or you miss out on profits. Well, yeah, I'm definitely aware of that. That's the only thing is I, um, I'm going to have to talk to Tommy about that. We're going to have to split it up and simul stream it somehow. I, I can't just go do it on his channel. Now he offered to do it over on my channel, but I don't see why we can't just simul stream it. I do know Tommy has reasons why, and he's way smart with numbers in ways that I will never be. I need my own phone. <laughs> okay, Kristen's more Reese, less of these other dusty ass guys. Okay, okay. Okay, witness. Pause and paddles. Not fond of the name. Well, Reese on her own. Okay. Um, I would love to do this on my own just as much. No, Jody T, you're not wrong. Thank you, St. Louis Scientology Audit. Uh, cute. Oh crap, I forgot to shut those windows. Dang it, it's gonna get cold down here. Uh, well, I'm not gonna stay on for that long anyway. Uh, let's see. I'm with you, witness. Yeah, once a week, week split, okay. Once a week split channels. Thank you, Irene. Yeah, Joe Virus, no question. I think Tommy and Spanx are fixing that today so that you guys will be able to hear me. That is not going to work. You've got to be able to hear me. Oh my God, Joe Virus is so funny. You guys, he, I have been, as I've been cleaning and organizing and sorting stuff all day, I have been giggling throughout the day, like laughing. I've been going back in my mind and listening to Joe Virus with his, sorry, I was a little bit dusty. Oh my God. He was so hilarious. The viruses are so funny. And uh, Rain, are you in here? Oh my God. When he said, sorry, I was a little dusty. You could hear her cute little Disney child voice in the background laughing. Oh my God. Rain Virus has the cutest voice. Okay, Sarah Robin. Yeah, I like that idea, Yarn Prepper. I'm on for two channels that Monday Live together, they take turns every other week. That's probably what we should do right there. I love you, Rhonda McNeil. From what I heard, um, it's really expensive to do this call-in type stuff. Like getting the actual proper equipment is not cheap. I know Lisa Vining. But I really can't stay out in long because it's eight o'clock and I still have to take a shower. I got to wash my hair tonight. Is kid spinning in the chair? Yes. She just jumped in, into a chair and it always spins when she does that. Now she's just sitting. I think you have, Rain, you have the cutest like Disney princess boys. You need some adapters and a splitter. I like that idea. Just taking turns. 
Yeah, I mean, it's brand new, you guys. I love Kid too, you know. Let's do an Amazon wish list for Dial a Friend. What the heck is that? Um, I, I, it's a, it's, a, it's a long term goal, guys. We just started this last night, but it was so. Hey, Donnie, it was so exciting. It was so much fun. Oh my God, Paisley Turtle, that's hilarious. I get it. It's okay, Bo Beats. You don't have to watch him. He's funny. They're, they just have their own rules. And I'm not going to comment on that because it's his channel. But, you know, they don't do cussing. And, and, and I respect that. I think that's totally fine. If you notice, I've tried to cut back on the cussing on my channel, but I really was bad at it last night. What kind of money are we talking? I have no idea, Jody. I don't career what you do. I'll be there. Thank you, Barb. That's adorable, Joe Virus. Rain is so cute. Thanks, Bigsy. Blake does have a good radio voice. What's my favorite color? Emerald green. You're biting ice. Does that bother you? I'm so sorry. It's crazy how triggered people get when I put a piece of candy corn or ice into my mouth. I deeply apologize. Hi, Wendy Brewer. Oh, Miss Sunrise Dawn, you gifted five memberships. Thank you so much. That is really sweet. I don't know if that's a thing, Sarah Robin. Hey, Elizabeth Frazier. Tommy is more of a cancer sign than you or me. Yeah, he's he's a full on cancer sign. Hey, Michelle, love you too, girl. You're a potty mouth too. Yeah, some of us are. It's just the way it goes. I don't mind it on my channel so much. Oh, that's really sweet, Cricket. Cricket just sent me a picture of her parents. That is so sweet. Oh, you're very welcome, Bo Beats. It's okay. I understand. On my channel, we cuss. I try not to make a habit of it or do it a lot because I do, I think there's a fine line with cussing. And sometimes I take it too far and, and I get mad at myself for doing that. I think I'm much better than I used to be. But at some point, cussing gets to be trashy to me. Like, I don't, I don't. I've never liked like nonstop cussing or just too much of it. I mean, do it if you want to do it, but it's just not my thing to do it nonstop. I don't like that. But throwing a word out there every now and then, it doesn't bother me at all. The look on your face when talking with us is worth every super chat imaginable. Tampa B-Man, I love you. I want to see you again sometime soon. I miss you. Who is this Sean Patrick dude, Mods? Hi, Murray Marion. Oh, Traveling Bee, I love you, Beth. I think you sent me an email. I need to respond. I have so many emails I'm behind on. Behind on. I love that you made it. Thank you, Kathy Ann. That little dance, apparently, that I did last night, it was so funny. I do that a lot when I get excited. It's kind of a thing I've done for a long time. I get really excited and I start dancing. And it was so funny because I didn't even really put two and two together that I was doing it because I was so excited in my head. I just started doing it like I do at home. I do that dance when I eat delicious food. Like if I'm in the kitchen and I try something new, I immediately start like getting into it. And it was so funny because last night somebody said, oh my God, Reese just turned into a Muppet. And it totally made me think of the Muppets when they're like, like running around all crazy. It is what it looked like. And I loved that comment. Love Mama Bear. I'm glad that you made it, girl. Hey, Adira. 
It's the happy dance. Yeah. I, I do a lot of dancing. Honestly, I'm kind of, I kind of get excited and I start dancing the food dance. Yes, Beth. Yeah, Jamie, it just doesn't bother me. Cussing doesn't bother me so much, but I have tried to tone it down also because I get demonetized and my channel's not big enough to matter if it gets demonetized, but I'm hoping one day it will. And, um, I don't, I mean, I don't want to get demonetized even with the, the smallness of my channel. I, I just don't want to do it. You hated truffle cheese, Bo Beats. That's so sad. Big Z, that's hilarious. I know it looked like the Muppets. Jordy T, Zoom calls. That reminds me, I need to set up for all of you guys that... Um, are doing the higher tiers of the memberships. I got to figure out how to do a Zoom call. Don't worry, I haven't. I will definitely schedule that. I just haven't. Uh, I have somebody that I think is going to help me to set that up. Heather McLaughlin, I know it was so fun last night. Who doesn't dance when the food is delicious? Yeah, don't make the habit of cursing that you'll regret later. Yeah, Martha Summer, again, I don't mind a little bit of it, but there's a time and a place for it too. I Like, I don't cuss. I wouldn't, it's just, it's classless. Like in certain situations, I, um, I don't know. It makes me feel dirty sometimes to cuss too much, but I definitely wouldn't do it like, out in public just randomly or with somebody I've never met, but I'm meeting for the first time. I, I don't, I, I try to stay a little more polished. Witness, oh, I get demonetized a lot, girl. Thank you, Audit Golden Era. Pat Jonas, I'm glad you made it. Oh yeah, Donnie, I get truffle cheese every week at Whole Foods. I can't live without it. Tampa V, that's cute. Margie Bar, it was so much fun. Yeah, there's a time and a place for it. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, Bridget, it was fun. Does truffle cheese have a lot of calcium? I have no idea. Bo Beats, you're hilarious. I love you, Brittany. It was amazing seeing how happy the calls made you and hearing Blake Reed made my day. I know Blake Reed is, he truly is our little baby angel on earth. When, and when he cusses, he throws hands using verbiage. I believe that. You know what's funny about Blake Reed is he is like Papa Smurf. He's so intelligent and it comes out of nowhere. It just hits you like a ton of bricks. You're like, whoa, he is like the fortune cookie of all fortune cookies. But then he will throw your ass right off with the, when he's like, what do, what do you say, Blake? Fight on sight, bitch, fight on sight. And then he'll throw hands. So it really is like a weird, like Papa Smurf, but he's also a ninja, but he also like gets into bar fights. It's weird. Blake Reed has a lot of depth to him that I'm not even sure. Every time I think I have him figured out, somebody throws me a shovel. You guys are always going to get groceries or your antique shopping, Joe Virus. It's one or the other. All right, enjoy those groceries, brother. Get some cheese. Mm. I love goat cheese too. Bo, you're going to have to let that go, girl. You're going to have to let it go. <laughs> I get it though. She's a cancer sign. Life, relatable, totally. Trader Joe's has truffle cheese. I never go to Trader Joe's because they're not, they're not close to my house. Fight on site. Oh my God, Blake. Blake has made me a tougher woman. Now, not tough enough to yell fight on site, but I yell it in my head. Ooh, I love feta cheese. Yeah, Jordy T, me too. Blake is the goat. He is. He is amazing. And I am freezing. 
It was so nice out today. I opened all the windows in the house and now it's cold and I left the windows open. Love you, Jen Marie. I love mozzarella cheese too. You know what? I don't like brie. I don't like a lot of those soft cheeses, Janet. Jeff, the guy I'm married to, loves baked brie. And he loves weird, smelly, weird cheeses. I don't do any of that. I don't do any of that. Oh, speaking of Jeff, that's weird. He just texted me. He texted me a video. And I'm not going to play that right now. I get an onion cheese. Yeah, see, I don't think I would like that. I like a smoky cheese. Smoked Gouda, 100%. Feta cheese, yes. Goat cheese, blue cheese, truffle cheese. Um, yeah, I don't do brie. I like a smoked cheese. Oh my God. I get smoked sliced cheddar and smoked Gouda at Whole Foods and you throw that on a veggie burger. You slice up an heirloom tomato. You throw a little bit of onion on there. Some, some pickles. My life just got made. It's so good. I love smoked cheese on a veggie burger. Dill cheese? I'd probably like that. I like dill. Good night, Martha Slimer. Love you, girl. Brie upsets your tummy. Yeah, I don't like it. You're worried about your mom, Wendy Brewer? Well, definitely everybody's giving you a big hug right now, babe. We love you, Wendy. Oh my God. Feta with marinated olives and lightly toasted ciabatta bread. Yeah, and do a little olive oil. Jamie, add your olive oil. Yes. Yeah, Don and what? Don in Wyoming. I love Don in Wyoming. Yes, smoked Gouda, girl. Smoked cheese is so good. Goat cheese is so good, Tampa Bee. Mmm. You know, Havarti is boring to me. It has such a, it doesn't live up to its name. The name sounds like it's going to be delicious. You taste Havarti and it tastes like air, it tastes like nothing. It's very boring to me, which is weird because Jeff loves Havarti. He likes the Havarti grilled cheese. And I'm like, it's boring. It's stupid. It shouldn't even exist. It tastes like it's trying to copy mozzarella. It's so mild. It's like, why are you even here? Smoked Swiss? Hell yes. I've never had it, but I love it. I love Swiss. God, I love Swiss cheese. I also love provolone cheese. I like Swiss and provolone on a damn grilled cheese. Dill Havarti, I might like that. The funny thing about me and bar fights, I haven't been in any, but I have made out at the bar. I'm a wild card, full of secrets, never to be fully understood. I think I've made out in a bar before too, Blake. I think we're, uh, we have that in common. I love that about you. Sarah, Reese, I see the value in your friendship with Tommy, as you know. Your recent videos are my favorite, more depth plus friendship. It's been beautiful and less misunderstandings, just supportive and love. Well, thank you. Uh, what was misunderstanding about it before, Sarah? Just, uh, just out of curiosity, girl. But thank you for saying that. Yeah, all smoked cheese, Don. All smoked cheese. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Well, I don't eat a lot of meat anyway. But yeah, I, I love cheese. I eat, like, I usually eat around 3 or 4 o'clock and I'm done for the day. But if I get on a late live and I don't get off till late... um and I got to have something before I go to bed, I will pop like three cubes of cheese and I'm good. Ooh, hot pepper jelly. Yes. With some cheese. I like hot pepper jelly with cream cheese. Ooh, I knew it. I knew that about you, Chow Yun Smut. Good morning, Perth. Me too, Carol Barnhart. Irene, that's very interesting. I've never thought of that before. Good night, Paula Puffer. Yeah, Paula, good luck on your cataract surgery tomorrow. I'm excited for you, girl. Cataract surgery is the best. I have missed you, Carrie Quilts. I love Carrie Quilts. Oh, why didn't we say pepper jack cheese? How did we miss that? Joe Virus, thank you for doing that. DJ Daddio. We got another DJ in here. That's wild. Hi, Reese. First time commenting. I'm a longtime live voter. 
going way back before it became the lifeboat. Tommy is my brother for sure. Your excitement last night brought me to tears. Oh my God, what a nice thing to say. And welcome. Welcome and thank you for being here. I love that. I love that you've supported Tommy for that long. What a friend. That's cool, man. Thank you. Reese, maybe you made out in a bar with Blake Reed. He is cute. I would have made out with Blake Reed. Unfortunately, um, he probably is, uh, I'm probably old enough to be his mother, so I don't think so. Oh yeah, Jamie Palmer, absolutely. Hey, Sylvia Perez. Aw, Courtney, thank you for wh whomever donated memberships. It's an awesome surprise this morning to see I'm a member. I love that. Thank you to whoever did that. Thank you to the people who do that. Thank you. I love Tommy and I together too. I don't do, uh, is it Gruyer? Gruyer, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't do that cheese either. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Armine, I've been watching you and Tommy so much that you've both been popping in my dreams the last three days. I'm going to bed now. I wonder if you'll pop in tonight as well. That's so cute. I love you, Armine. Wendy, I'm glad we care about you. Wendy Brewer. Sandy McKenna, same with me, girl. We'd get along just fine, Sandy. Well, we do get along just fine. I know you. Ewa. Ooh. Ewa, you had fun with your hubby? <laughs> That's a good reason to be late, girl. Dang. Don't let us stop you. I love that. Asiago cheese is good, Lily Garfield, especially on a bagel. Hey, Pat Kimbrell. Oh, I bet Mary Jones. Yeah, Amish country. Ooh. It's okay, Kelly B. Welcome. Oh, yeah, I love cheese curds. I love you, Anita Card. That is such a nice thing to say. You think we made out in a previous life, Christy? That could be. Aw, Crystal Paul. Hi, Reese from Ontario, Canada. Be kinder to you, sweets. Thank you, babe. That's so sweet. Yeah, Jordy T, I don't blame you. This stupid mouse. There it goes. Oh, Gruyere. Gruyere. What did I say? Gruyere? I was close, Cricket. Picky. True to it. Um, I had a hard time myself figuring out how to become a member. Uh, I had to do it from my laptop. I could not do it on my phone, but don't worry about it. You don't have to become a member. I'm just glad you're here. Swedish Lena, Reese. Oh, I love her. Gush, gush. Love you, Swedish Lena. Oh man, Joe Virus. I love blue cheese. Good night, coconut herder. You know what's weird? As much as I love cheese, I don't love mac and cheese. Every once in a while I crave it, but I think pasta in general, I get so full from it and it gets, it just makes me so tired and bloaty. Now, I mean, I love like Velveeta Mac. Sure, I'll eat it once or twice a year. If I'm alone for one night, home alone or something, I'll make a box. I still like Kraft mac and cheese, but again, maybe once a year I eat it. I salt the shit out of it. I put a lot of salt on it, but I don't order mac and cheese in restaurants. Like you ever go to restaurants and they have like gourmet mac and cheese with breadcrumbs. I've had it before. And every time I'm disappointed, I'm like, this was boring. It tasted like air. I don't, I'm not into it. Which is weird. You know, mac and cheese is like supposed to be so good. I, I don't know. It's, it's all right. You love my necklaces? Thank you, Wendy Brewer. I actually uh, really layered them up today. I was sorting out my jewelry because I was cleaning things out. And I just started stacking stuff to try to feel better about myself since I looked bad. I don't know what's in a cheese curd. I think it's just cheese, Emily, but it's like in a weird little ball. It just makes it more fun to eat. We should ask Cricket, Chow Yun Smut, because she's from Wisconsin. 
Sarah says, before it was new, flirty and both distracted with the chat, but would miss each other's point off. And recently has been a new level, pure friendship and honoring each other. It's been fabulous and inspiring. You know, I agree with you on that, Sarah. We would kind of miss the mark a little bit. Um, the flirtiness is still there for sure, but I could see what you mean about the distraction. And I also like what Tommy and I have now because we actually go into deep stuff and talk about real chats and subjects. Before, sometimes it almost was like, what, what was the point? Now, I love just chit-chatting with him. And I still want to do that every once in a while where we don't have a topic. Like Sterling and I do that a lot. It's just kind of going into the weeds, but but it's fun. With Tommy, I, I he's such a good deep thinker and he's so smart and he's so intuitive. He's he's It's almost a waste of his time to not go deep because he's so good and he, he gives you such good perspective that it's like you should use Tommy to your full advantage there because he's he's very intelligent. So I like those deeper, deeper chats with him for sure. Really, Tampa B, that's interesting. I know, Chow Yun Smut, restaurant mac and cheese. It's what Elizabeth Frazier, thank you so much, girl. I've never made homemade mac and cheese. Another thing I've never made homemade that I really want to sometime, and, and I'm surprised I haven't. I mean, I've tried all kinds of recipes since I've been out of Scientology. I really enjoy cooking. I didn't cook in Scientology because there just isn't time. You're usually on course in the evenings. Uh, I want to make a uh, lasagna. I've never made one before, which is weird because my family is very Italian. Um, let's see, DJ Daddy, you talk about Costco sometimes. Have you ever tried their mac and cheese? We just did over the weekend. I loved it. Now, when you say that, do you mean the prepared stuff, like in the cold section where they have like enchiladas and like that kind of deli section? No, but I have seen it. If that's what you're talking about, where they make it and you take it home and bake it, I should try that. I bet my son would love it. Yes. Uh, flirt is there, but the overall energy is different. It's special. Well, I think the other thing is Tommy and I really appreciate each other. Now we have smoothed out. Do you guys remember? Like there was a minute there. I was not fond of him. Like we hit a bump in the road months ago and he, he didn't even really do anything wrong, but he, it's like it, it triggered something in me and it rubbed me the wrong way. And I didn't process or handle it properly. And I've grown a lot since then. I feel like if that were to happen again, I would totally deal with it differently, but I was fairly mature in the way that I dealt with it. And, um, he was on a much higher level of maturity than I was. I was not. And so I think now that we've smoothed all that out and I deeply appreciate Tommy that's changed too. Um, I didn't appreciate him quite as much when we first met and now I have a very deep love and appreciation for that man. Like, I feel very safe with him. I know that, I mean, I feel about 100% sure that Tommy will always be in my life and that um, we can always talk through something. Like, even if something were to upset us like that at that time before, I didn't deal with it right. Now I know that I could go to him and say, I'm upset with you and I... We, I, we got to figure this out. I wouldn't run away from him. I know that he and I could work something out. It's just so much different. Like something really clicked with him and I feel super, like super glued to him. I, I just, Tommy is at the top of my list. He's probably my best male friend for sure. I could say that Tommy is definitely, I'm very, very close to him. Um, he's shared so many private deep things and, you know, when somebody does that, when you share stuff that's private, which I honestly, you guys know me, I don't have a lot of private stuff. There's not a lot of secrets with me um, because I'm so open and you guys know everything. But Tommy, I think, has deep things that he's shared that nobody else knows or that the people close to him know, his family, his close friends. And that makes you also feel closer to a person because you feel like you're in their circle. They trust you. Um, and I, I just, I, I can't show enough love and appreciation for that guy. And for what he's been through, he amazes me. And I feel bad that I misread him in the beginning. That's on me. Definitely on me. That was nothing he did wrong. It was more on me. I overreacted. I felt very immature about it. 
and um, it's okay. I mean, I, I've, I've assumed responsibility and he knows it and everything's cool, but I wish I hadn't have dealt with it that way because I almost lost him as a friend and that, that would have been a horrible loss. He's an amazing man. We are all lucky to know Tommy. I mean, I'm going to stop there because I feel like I'm just going on and on about it, but he really is a good person. He's a very, very good person. 100%. No question. What, like what you see is, is what you get there. Tommy is your person. Yes, he is. We understand each other very well. I love that Jamie Palmer. I've been going through a similar thing with a friend. There were issues because I never thought to explain the inner workings of my thought process, working through that with him now. Yeah, sometimes you got to take a look at yourself and go, what did I do there? I love how the people, I love how the people on this channel who you felt didn't like you have come to love you now that they know your story. Joy of Cats, I do too. That's really a nice thing to say. Rivers run deeply in Tommy. Yeah. And that's true too. Trust is everything. Yeah. I like that. As a fellow Vermonter, Tommy is legit cool cat for sure. He is cool cat. He's very cool. He did the same thing, to be honest. What does that mean, Barb? What do you mean by that? He did the same thing. Hey, Franklin MC. Yes, Kathy Ann. That's what friends do. Make an effort to understand where the other is coming from. Try to make it work. Yes. It's just that's new to me, guys. Friendships like that, I've never had before. In almost 40 years of my life, I've never like Sterling and I, Tommy and I, I've never had a friendship like that. Yeah, you both could have handled things better. You are a good person too. Carrie, thank you for saying that. It's true. I mean, yeah, there's, it's always a two-way street, but I would say he's a lot more emotionally mature, which makes sense. He's 14 years older than me. I mean, he's got a little more uh, under his belt, right? Life experience, but still I didn't handle it well. Your transparency and working through it with grace was beautiful to witness and your continued friendship is a light. I love it. Thank you, Lizbeth. You're so nice. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Him running as go-between for you last night was awesome. Truly, What do you mean go-between, Joe? What does that mean? What was he doing running go-between? I love that. I have a male friend for almost 30 years that has never crossed lines. I'm lucky to have found your forever friend. Absolutely. Sitting here knitting myself a new sweater. Two inches to go. You need to stay on so I can finish. Lori, you are hilarious. That is a sweet thing to say. Seeing you happy makes Tommy happy. I noticed that yesterday. That is so nice. You guys know he said the nicest thing. Was it yesterday he said this? He said something. He does have the nicest things to say. He said something about how like my laugh he loves my laugh. Like he loves when I laugh. It really brings him happiness. And I thought that was so, such a, I love how we're both very open with each other. He's just very kind. Something about him that I really like and Sterling's the same way. They're both just very open. They're open men. They're open. They're sensitive. They show it. That's not always the case with men. And therefore I haven't always had a lot of male friends. And I like that they just hang it out there. They're just very open. And I love the banter and like being able to carry on a conversation for two hours with them. And it, it's, I could keep going. Like it just doesn't get old. I, they can hold their own and they're good. They're good guys. I love Sterling too. Love Sterling. He is also at the very top of my list. I just love Sterling. Oh, he was kind of misunderstanding of you. Yeah, you both worked through your expectations. That's true. That's a good point, Barbara. Yeah, he was misunderstanding a little bit of me too. He knew the friendship was worth fighting for, Kuala Lu. I'll tell you, I wasn't ever going to talk to him again because of my Scientology background. I was used to cutting people off. I had no problem doing it. 
And I didn't realize how sad Tommy was. He was very sad during that time that we weren't talking. He told me that, but he also would message me every once in a while and tell me, and he'd be like, I really miss talking to us. I'm, I really miss you. You know, I don't click with everybody and I really clicked with you and it makes me sad that we don't talk anymore. And I didn't, I didn't deal with that. Well, like I just kind of blew him off and I was like, well, you know, sorry. Like it was very scientological of me. And I have since worked through now I'm not a hundred percent, but I've recognized that flaw. That's very much a fault. I need to plug my computer in. Forgot that I didn't have it down here. Very much a something that a Scientologist would do. And I'm not a Scientologist anymore and I don't want to behave like a Scientologist. So it's harder to work through that stuff. That's uh, the easy part about being a Scientologist. You can just cut people off left and right. That's the easy part. The hard part is going, you're right, let's work through this. And I wouldn't do it. I refused to do that with Tommy. And one night I was going live and he texted me and he said, like, you never have, you never talk to me anymore. You never have me on anymore. And I really miss that. And I finally took it to heart. And I was like, well, I said, fine, let's chat then. And I think that was the first chat we had and we did it on a live and it was sad. And he said, the last live we did, you said, we're not going to be able to be friends. And he said, you really broke my heart. Or he said, it took the wind out of my sails. And I thought, God, this is a friendship worth keeping for a guy to say these things not even just privately, but on a live channel like this, for him to openly, you know, admit to those things and say, like, let's work through this, worth it. Glad that I, glad that I um, responded to him and that he kept trying because he could have given up on me like I gave up on him. And I'm really, really glad that uh, we fought for that relationship. I really love Tommy. Oh, I see what you're saying, Joe Virus. I love Gretchen. Happy to be joining the live tonight. Love how you talk about life's cha challenges, ups and downs, and what is real. I love that too, Gretchen. And I love when you're here, girl. Thank you. Susan, my dog, Tom Hanks, was diagnosed with cancer this morning. He only has a couple of months. I'm heartbroken. Please send good vibes. Everybody send good vibes to Susan and Tom Hanks. Susan, I'm so sorry to hear that. I really am. I, uh, we get a lot of sad stories here about animals. Crystal lost her dog last week unexpectedly. And uh, is it Miss Sunrise Dawn's whose cat isn't doing well? I, I, It never stops though, does it? Like it's sad every mm. time. Losing a pet or a, having a sick pet really makes your stomach turn. I, I, Gertie coughs weird and I start panicking. So Susan, I'm really sorry. And yes, girl, we are definitely sending vibes. Tommy was hilarious last night, though, as he was trying to uh, um, do his uh, his Reese imitation. Oh, my God. He was killing me with that. Was he making you guys laugh? I love when he does the girl voice, the, the girl Reese voice and imitates me. I think I'm kind of behind. What about Aaron? Abigail, Aaron will always be uh, my person as well. We just don't talk as much. But the cool thing about Aaron is we pick up right where we left off. He's just busy. Aaron has really gotten grown into quite the channel. And I'm, I'm so supportive and happy for him. But we don't talk as often. But he called me on Saturday. And we just picked right up where we left off. I mean, we laugh. I love Aaron. But sadly, we don't do stuff as often. Tommy was beaming when you were so excited about all the friends calling in. Fancy Nancy, watching you and Tommy work out the misunderstanding was such an encouragement to me. Yeah. Uh, no, and thank you for pointing that out, Boris. I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm washing my hair when I get off. That's why I'm not going to stay on much longer. But yeah, no, I haven't washed it yet. And it's a problem. Oh, am I late? Yeah, I'm late to see this. I better be at the top of this list, please. You are, babe. I just said you were. I hope you were listening to that. Sounds like you weren't, though. Goosebump. He, what is wrong with this stupid thing? I hate this mouse. He really was sad. Yeah, he was. 
Tommy is has a lot of depth to him, guys. I'm a little neurotic. He is. He tells me that all the time. He is. Tommy's funny, guys. He gets weird. If I don't, uh, if I don't, like if he texts me, oh, hey, Rena, love you, girl. If he texts me and I don't text him back and like five minutes go by, he starts panicking. Not every time, but sometimes he'll be like concerned and he'll say, I'm sorry, I'm just neurotic. It's, I think it's sweet. I think it's, Amazing that a man admits to things like that. I love that deeming. Uh, watching it last night was like watching a door open and you feeling all the love wash over you. Beautiful. It was. Thank you for pointing that out. Cajun Nan, for almost 40 years, you had people looking for things to write reports on you. Now life is totally different. Love is part of you. Absolutely. Such a good way of putting that, babe. Brittany, random merch idea. The word lurker spelled out with kid peeking over the R. When I think lurker, I think cats. P.S. I love a good manchego. Manchego. I don't know. I've never heard of that word. Cheese. Brittany, thank you. That's a good idea, Britt. You know, and Tommy taught me a good life lesson there on that. I mean, he, he did. He uh, fought for our relationship, and I've never had anybody do that before. And I, like I say, I'm glad that he did. It really meant a lot to me. I have felt bad about the way I handled that uh, ever since. But again, I was not mature enough to deal with that. I was not in a mature, you know, emotionally mature place. And he was. Uh, working through the loss of a cousin. Relate a boat is balm for my soul. Also, Tommy is here and saying hi. I saw that. Pajama pixie. A lot of sadness lately. A lot of loss. I am so sorry, babe. I will tell you, I'm really happy I got to hear your voice last night. I think you are just a lovely lady. I thought you were so funny, what you said at the end. But you were full of a lot of wisdom. And I love you, girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you for your super chat, my friend. Oh, no. Did Mark lose the election? Mark Bunker? That sucks. I like Mark Bunker. Yes, GeoPlanet Jane. Tommy is here. So is Rena. I love Rena. My sister, George, you may not have handled it well, but I noticed that once Tommy proved he cared about you and wasn't giving up, you worked it out with him 100%. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever had anybody care enough to uh, to give it a try like that. Ewa, I'll have to ask Spanx that. Uh, how is it to call in if you are in another country? Ewa, I'm not sure. That's a question that Spanx can answer, though. I hate this mouse so much. Just rub it on my boob. Um, you fixed my, oh, mother. You fixed my watch. I am so thankful. Tommy, thank you. Um, guys, I mailed my watch to Tommy last week. My turquoise watch broke. Remember, it was on a live and it wasn't working. So he fixed it. What an angel. You just let me know what I owe you, brother. Hi, Trisha from Minnesota. I was learning, Jeanette, and he gave me, Tommy gave me a second chance, which was great. Clay Carlos. I love Tommy alone and I love Reese alone. For some reason, I do not like them together. I love, love, love Aaron and Reese together and Reese and Sterling together. All right, Clay, you know what? We appreciate your honesty, brother. And uh, that's quite all right. Here's the good news, Clay, is I'm alone all the time. Um, so you can always check in when I'm here by myself. Brittany, I think you handled it exactly how you were supposed to. You are out, you are one year out and adjusting to your new life. I don't think you realize how amazing you are doing. Brittany, I, you are such a good friend. Thank you. I love that, Franklin. Tommy can see the gold in people. Sometimes we just have to be patient and call it out of them. That is such a cool thing to say. I feel very lucky to be his friend. Very lucky. Seriously, to be in his life, I feel very lucky. You are amazing, Reese. I love you, Rena. I'm speaking of friends. That is truly a new friend of mine, you guys. 
She is the one who did the podcast. You've all seen it. Um, and thank you for going over to her channel to watch it. She's amazing. She's a great interviewer too. Tommy never gave up. You didn't either. Well, that's not entirely true. I gave up on him. But again, like I said before, that is not an excuse. It's just something that I'm labeling and seeing for the first time. That was the Scientology. Absolutely. My Scientological go-to was to cut ties with anything that doesn't work. Clean the mouse ball. This is a brand new Apple mouse. It's just a, it's just a piece of shit. What kind of music do you like? Just went to a concert with the hubs. Uh, Rena, I was just talking about my favorite band is The National, um, which is weird because they're a newer band. They've been my favorite band for probably 15 years now, but uh, they're the only kind of uh, newer band I like. And then Rena, I just listen to 80s, 70s and 80s music. Classic rock, Pearl Jam, Bob Seger, The Rolling Stones, a lot of 80s. Today, when I was organizing, my God, I was on a kick all day listening to the cars. I love the cars. I forgot how much I love the cars. I was just listening to them, just rocking out. Oh, yeah, since I have a rock and roll hat on. Yeah. I love that. Witnessing the transformation of your relationship was such an excruciatingly pain, painful. Sorry, usually it's painful after excruciate. It just came out, girl. Beautiful thing. Tommy reminds me of my dad. Okay. He sees into people and brings out wonderful things. Well, that is a compliment, I'm sure, that he reminds you of your dad. Tommy does not remind me of my dad. I don't get a dad vibe with him, if you know what I mean. Some of you will know what I mean. And for those that do, put it in your pocket. Thank you, Rena. Jam Jam, Reese, you are truly amazing. You two are quite the team and super easy together. I agree. We really are, uh, we just kind of flow, don't we? She's great at responding too. Thanks for responding to my comment. That's so nice, Abigail. I was perplexed why all that happened, Geoplanet Jane. It's just was my own thing. I was just, I think I was just in a bad place. Tommy could have been anybody. That was the problem with the whole thing with Tommy and I. I. I rejected him and he didn't even really do anything wrong. I just was in a bad place. It was the, it was uh what do you, how do you say that? Wrong place at the wrong time. He could have been anybody. He just happened to be in my way. He was the target. And I was kind of busy hating myself at the time, working things out. Um, and uh, I treated him really poorly. And honestly, I still haven't really forgiven myself for that. I feel bad about that. Chrome your rock and roll hair. I said, hold your tongue, Tampa B. I am going to wash it this evening. I promise. I get a hey daddy vibe out of him. Well, half you have uh, inappropriate terms, don't we, Half? Um, I never understood what that meant. I know it's sexual, but I'll, I might need you to explain, Half. I love the cars. I, rain virus. You know, I mean, I've always loved the cars, but God, I was listening to some good hits today that I hadn't heard in a while. And I was like, every time I was like, oh my God, I forgot this. I forgot about this song. I can't feel this way much longer. Expecting to survive. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What was that one? Bye bye love. We'll talk later, babe. All right, Hef. All right. I know we will too. Oh, it's not the dad part. It's the humanity part. I knew what you meant. I just turned it into a sexual innuendo. Oh, trust me. I don't get dad vibes. He's cute. Him's cute. Him's real cute. Tommy is really cute. I'd like to climb all over it. Excuse me. It just came out. Uh, had a lot of respect for you to work it out. And on his show, I thought his, I thought this girl got brass. I like her. Deeming, that is so nice. You got to listen to the cars while cleaning. It's it's a thing. It's a thing, Rena. Living in Stereo, that's a great Cars song. You know, Reese, if Tommy has forgiven you, uh, then you are really obligated now to forgive yourself, don't you think? Yeah, it's just I don't like mistreating people. I really don't.
Hi, Andra Wise. It's okay, girl. You know, when people show up late and they're like, I missed it. What did you miss? I'm rambling. We all know this. Boz Gags. I love Boz Gags. Yes. 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 I mean, I'm not even embarrassed. I, I was used to, I would, in the past, I would have been ashamed to say I like Boz Gags, but you know who else I love? And I would have usually been ashamed, but I'm not. I like Seely Dan. I don't care. I said it. I also love Van Morrison. You know who else I love? I love Supertramp. Yes. I could clean all day long to that kind of music. Kiwi, I think I need to go back and watch the Tommy video with you from last night. Yes. Heather, I'm new to your channel. Started watching your first video recently and your transformation is amazing. Heather, welcome girl. And thank you for saying that. Yeah, Sarah Browett, I don't get dad vibes off of Tommy. But honestly, do I get dad vibes off of anybody? I didn't really have a dad, so I'm not really sure. Lido. Whoa. The Lido Shuffle. Kristen, why am I getting pain and redness where my glasses sit on the sides of my nose? Because you need your nose pads adjusted. And if you don't have nose pads, because it's a frame like this, if you have a plastic frame, you need the um, you need the temples adjusted. So you either need them wider or tighter. And then this is either too loose or too tight. So they need to check behind your ears. Now, if you have a frame on like this and you're having redness here, you need your nose pieces adjusted. My sister, George, I love you and Tommy together. When he came back to the live, when you were upset a while ago, I cried. A true friend. Wow. That's so nice. And I know it's a mid-bus goodbye. Yeah, I love Seely, Dan. Sandy McKenna, you love Seely. Alan Parson Project. Alan Parson's Project is Jeff's favorite band. Honestly, I don't know a lot about Alan Parson's Project. I just know the Eye in the Sky song. That creepy ass stalker song. I love Super Tramp. I love anywhere we can talk about cheese and the cars openly. <laughs> Big Z, you're in the right place at the right time. Yeah, Breakfast in America, it's a great one. Take a look at my girlfriend, cause she's the only one I got. It's such a weird song. Into the Mystic is such a good song. It'd be a good song to like dance to or like a wedding song. That's awesome. Super Tramp was your first concert. That's amazing. I love ELO. Yes. I hope the best. But I have one concern. Tommy's memory problems. I would hate to see this be a notebook type situation. Wishing it never happens that way. Holy shit. Me too. You and me both, Paisley Turtle. Jesus. That took a dark ass turn, didn't it? I don't think Tommy's memory is going to be as bad as he thinks it is. Um, I am not a doctor. I am not a um, fortune teller, but I just have a feeling. I feel good about it. Carolyn T, at least you're here. How about the outfield? I don't wanna lose your love tonight. I love that song. Josie's on a vacation far away. I always change the words. You guys know that. You know I like my guys a little bit older. Anna Nicole style. Uh, you had a father, just a dad. I guess so. Yeah, who's that song is called Drive, Emily Blythe. Who's going to drive you home? That is such a good song. Yeah, I love Van Morrison. Little darling, come with me. Why don't you help me share my load from the dark end of the street to the bright side of the road? That is a great song. I love Billy Joel. You proved that faith in the future was possible outside of Scientology, and you even did away with a lot of stigma regarding ex-Scientologists. I think the bump was vital to your healing and his. Blake? Damn it. He's such a Papa Smurf. There's nobody like Blake. Al Green is killer. Yeah, I love Boz Gag. Steely Dan, yeah. I love Billy Joel. Ooh, Queen? You know it, Mary. Who doesn't love Queen? Get the hell out of here. 
Christine, I've been going through some things lately too. You are making things better for me. Today I wore makeup to work for the first time in over a year. Finding my way back to myself. Love you. God, I love that. Christine, I am so proud of you. That is a big deal. Good for you, girl. You can keep doing that if you want to. If you don't want to, don't. But I bet you looked amazing. I love that. I love that. We're all proud of you for that, girl. Just a little bit at a time. That's all it takes. Not much of a girlfriend, but she's the only one I got. What is going on? It's because I have been cleaning all day and I have no makeup on. But I do like this little sun kiss business. See, I laid out in the sun today. Check it. Let's see. Yep. See, I don't have anything on under here, but I've been naked all day. I literally have been cleaning with no clothes on, just my undies. See that? See that little line? Yeah. What's my new obsession? Uh, my new obsession is the, the call-in thing, Sarah. I want to do it every freaking day. I was addicted. I was hooked. <laughs> Joe specializes in stalker songs. <laughs> well, Drive is kind of a stalker song for sure, isn't it? By the Cars. Oh, yeah. Every Step You Take, that is a stalker-ass song. Welcome, Roxy. Ooh, I love Bob Seger. Mm. Bigs, you're going to be at the National? I've seen them three times. I love the National. Uh, Van Morrison singing Harvest Moon. Um, Neil Young, Young singing it. That was my wedding song to Fred. Great song. Yeah, my new obsession. I love the phone thing, the call-in thing, and talking to you guys, hearing your voices. If I can't get out of the house to meet you guys, I at least want to do that. You and Tommy remind me of the song. I may be crazy, but I might be what you are looking for. Isn't that Billy Joel? I think I heard that today. Isn't it? That's Billy Joel, right, Tina? You know what song Tommy said reminds him of us? Um... Elton John, I guess that's why they call it the blues. I thought that was so cute. He's awfully adorable, isn't he? Him and his little bald head. I think I'm kind of behind. Fate and Buster, that's true about Anna Nicole. Oh, I love the Eagles. How did we miss the Eagles? God, I love the Eagles. Don Henley rocks my socks right off. Lori Swenson, you know, I never listened to a lot of Kiss. Oh, I love Blue Oyster Cult Witness. Yes. Oh my God, you thought I called Blake a pompous Smurf? That's hilarious. No, Papa Smurf. Ooh, you lucky. I'd love to see the Eagles live. I love Fleetwood Mac so much. You saw them in concert. I'd love to go, but it's like $1,000 a ticket. Deeming, I'll have to listen to that song. Violet, I started wearing makeup again. Reese helped me with that too. It's a step forward. I love that, girls. Keep that up. Only if you want to, but it really does make a difference. Like, I don't have any makeup on. I put lipstick on, but I didn't put the stain on, so it's already gone. Um, you know, so I don't have any makeup on. I've been cleaning all day. My face is um, shiny. But what did I do? I put on jewelry instead. Like, I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm telling you, for me, it actually makes a difference. Like, I was like, I'm going to go live. I don't want to put on a face full of makeup. I'm all sweaty. I'm going to shower after my live. So I put, I mean, I already had these on, but I did put earrings on and I put my rings on and I, it's just a little step and it may not make a difference to other people, but it, it makes a difference for you. So give it a try. It really can. We talked about that last night with uh, Inappropriate Half. She was like, how do I style my sweatpants and t-shirt? Easy, girl. Do a little French tuck into the sweatpants with your tee. Throw on some earrings and some necklace. Do a neck mess. That's what they call it, a neck mess, because you're wearing more than one. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. 
Christine, I'm serious. We're really proud of you. That's amazing. And Violet. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Yes. God, I love them. Our house is a very, very, very fine house. That's cool. You're learning uh, Harvest Moon on guitar. That's awesome. I like Rod Stewart. He's sassy. Yeah, Barbara, I love the Eagles. Ooh, CCR. Hell yes, Cassie. I got to take care of my beard, too. It's been a minute. It's really poking out. Oh, I love Eric Clapton. Yeah, I love Harvest Moon. Uh, Tommy, somebody asked what song he wants to dance to at the prom. You know what he said? I thought it was the sweetest thing. See, Tommy is deep. He runs deep, you guys. Ooh, I love Chicago. How did we forget Chicago? Fuck, I love Chicago. Um, Etta James, at last. What a softy. Is he a softy? I thought that was so sweet. Yeah, Blue Oyster Cold does kick ass, Blake. Are all your glasses prescription or just reading glasses? It's expensive to have prescription, or maybe it's just me. They are all prescription, girl. I am blind. I have had two eye surgeries to correct my vision, and it wasn't LASIK because I had way too much of an astigmatism to qualify for LASIK. So these are prescription. And the way that all of mine have prescription, I worked for ophthalmologists for 12 years. So I got my glasses and lenses very cheap. Now I don't work for them anymore. So I get all of mine done at Costco and I find that's uh, cheaper than my discount as an ophthalmology employee. So I would highly recommend getting your lenses done at Costco. Even if like mine are single vision, but when I hit into my later forties and I need readers or I switch to a progressive lens, which is uh, no line trifocal, Costco still has it beat on price. I love Aerosmith. Hey, Mindy Doolin. Oh, I love Journey. Anita, I don't believe that for a second. Stack it again. Try it again. Do it again. I love Boston. Baby Angel, I never listened to 10,000 Man Maniacs. That's amazing, Rena and Michael Jackson. Wow. Yeah, Joe, we need to talk about music sometime. Joe Virus is the king of music, guys. He's a very famous DJ. I don't know if you guys knew that. Oh, I love Blondie. Yes, Witness. Who doesn't love Blondie? Cindy Lauper. I love her. Yeah, definitely. James Taylor and Simon and Garfunkel. Absolutely, Laura. Yeah, Blondie's Rapture, one of your favorite songs. The tide is high. I love that song, too. Info dump truck. That's funny. Where's Hux tonight? Um, he and Jeff went out to uh, get something to eat, and I had already eaten today, so they went out to eat. Huxley has his first baseball game next week, and I'm really excited about it. No country fans, Luke Combs or Jason Aldean or Oliver. I um, I don't know country as much, but I do like country. I like Jason Aldean. Um, I like the guy that sings Tennessee Whiskey. I have to be honest. I like, um, I don't know the new country, but I like Kenny Chesney. I loved Toby Keith. Loved, and I was so sad that he died like a month ago. Um, but I do like some country. I just don't know. I'm not, I love George Strait. Love George Strait. Some Alan Jackson. I love David Bowie. Don't you guys love these kind of chats? It's so fun to get in and like get your opinion on stuff. It's my favorite. We may not accomplish a lot, but it's, oh shit. I was listening to Heart today too while I was cleaning. Songs I haven't heard in forever. Uh, Alone. I love that song. Uh, Magic, Magic Man. Shit, that's a good song. I Her voice is so good. 
You know who else? Uh, what's her name? The lead singer. I can't think of her name. I love the lead singer's voice of the Pretenders. Oh, Info Dump Truck. See, I would. I'm not even ashamed. I love Meatloaf. Loved Meatloaf. Absolutely. Prince is good. Yes, Blake. I have. Don't they? Aren't they the ones that sing "I Touch Myself"? Billy Squire for cleaning. Absolutely. Depeche Mode. Yes. Your own personal pizza. Did you think I was going to sing that? I saw that on a meme and it never went away from me instead of your own personal Jesus. Uh, Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. Of course, Cassie. Who are you kidding? I love REM. Costco does a fantastic job on progressive lenses. Yes, they do. Ooh, Sting and Annie Lennon. You mean Annie Lennox, yes. Yeah, Franklin. 38 Special and Leonard Skinner. Why not? Hey, Colts be Colton. I feel like I haven't seen you for a minute. Chris Stapleton, yeah. Huxley, I don't really know what kind of music that kid listens to because he's always got headphones in, but I think he likes rap, which I'm not surprised. I mean, he's a teenager. Little Led Zeppelin, yeah, Franklin. Stevie Nicks and Tom Petty, yes, so good. Guys, I'm still not over Tom Petty. I love Tom Petty. I love, love, love Tom Petty so much. Pearl Jam, absolutely. You know, I just like Pearl Jam's black. Who knows? You guys want to know a secret, a little something special you don't know? John Prine, yes. I uh, My husband died. Everybody knows that. Um and I had to plan his funeral and I picked, I'm a real music person and I picked three songs and one of them, and I put the lyrics to the song on the back of the card. You know, when you go to a funeral and they hand you, when you get there, a, their, 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 you know, card with their picture on it. I put the lyrics to the main song I wanted for him on the back. And I wonder how many of you know this song if you're a Pearl Jam fan. It's a Pearl Jam, Jam song, but it's kind of unheard of. And they play it in Big Fish, which is a, a movie that I can't watch without streaming down tears. Um, this song is 100% Fred. It describes everything. If you go read the lyrics to this song, it is 100% my husband who passed away. So uh, it was called Man of the Hour. Who knows it? It's not a well-known Pearl Jam song, but that was uh, Fred's funeral song. And it is such a good song. That's okay, Witness. You know it, Big Z? I didn't think very many of you would know that song. If you don't know it, it's worth listening to. It is a beautiful song and it described Fred so well because he was the man of the hour. He was totally the man of the hour. I love Stairway to Heaven. If you have time, you should go listen to Man of the Hour. It is such a good song and it really, really hits me every time I hear it. It just um, really makes me think of him. Every lyric, every note to that song is so Fred. The other song I picked was, of course, because he played piano for 90 years and he died at exactly nine o'clock on a Saturday, which is the first opening lyric to the song Piano Man. So I made Piano Man the second song. And the third song was um, I picked for his funeral, which I don't know if you're supposed to play three songs at a funeral, but I love music and it means music really means a lot to me. It's very emotional. I attach a lot of emotions to music and memories. Uh, the third song I played was uh, In My Life by The Beatles. And all of those were very good songs at his funeral and very meaningful to me. And I wouldn't change a thing the way I planned Fred's funeral. But, uh, which is a, a, a dark thing to say, but I always thought I would be good. I hate to say this. I know this sounds weird, but I feel like I'd be good at planning funerals. Like, and let me say it. Hold on. That sounds weird. But music, me, I love Bob Dylan. Music means a lot to me and I attach songs to people and their personalities. So like when I meet a person, I will think of a song that makes me think of them. And uh, 
Wow, that's cool, Shauna. I just think that um, music is a powerful thing at a funeral. And I know Amazing Grace is a great song, but I've heard it at every funeral and I get a little sick of that. I think it's fun to tie something to the person and it makes it memorable. And um, Man of the Hour was so special to play. It was such an honor. And I put all the words to it on the back of his little funeral paper. And uh, anyway, it was just, it was, it's just something I'll always remember. Hey, Tina Mays, I'm glad you made it, girl. Yeah, Super Tramp, Tampa B, I love Super Tramp. That's the one thing. Yes, Denise, it's very difficult to plan your husband's funeral. That was tough on me. Um, Pamela asked me about which song would I pick for you, girl? I don't know. We would have to spend some time together. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful song, Lisa from Jersey. It's just, I liked customizing it a little more than that and picking some songs that spoke to me and made me think of Fred. You've only been to two funerals, Barbara? Wow. Yeah, it's really special. Really, really special. Music is very powerful to me. Hey, Ashley Marie, welcome, girl. Yeah, Emily Blythe, I agree. I know Bridget Alexander, it was really, really special. If Again, if you can go listen, if you haven't heard that song, Man of the Hour by Pearl Jam, it is such a powerful song. The, the lyrics are so good. Um, he even says in that song, he says, young men, they pretend, old men comprehend. There was just so many things, the lyrics to that song. I was like, that's all Fred, that's so Fred. It was just so amazing. Young men, they pretend, old men comprehend. I loved that. Brittany, tonight's live is feeding my soul. I started listening to music again on a regular basis last week. After two years of being afraid of anything joyful. Brittany, I love you. I love all the powerful changes in you. You tell me it and I love it. So thank you for that. Thank you for sharing that with us, babe. I love it when a live is basic like this and we don't really go anywhere. We kind of just go where it takes us, but it means something to somebody. And if it even is just one person it hits like you tonight, then I'm good. My job is done. I love that. I love Elton John. Kind of off subject, but I also can't watch. Oh no. And Bambi anymore. I watched them once after my mom died. I totally get it. I watched those after my mother left when I was six and it like ruined my life even more. It was horrific, especially the land before time, man. That really hit me. Mm -mm. I'm so sorry, Abigail. It's so sad guys. I'm really sorry for all the losses everybody's experiencing. I've been to a ton of funerals, but I think that's the case also working in senior living and marrying old men because their friends all die. It's true. Yeah, Evie, some of you, if you have time, listen to Man of the Hour if you've never heard it and tell me next time we go live what you think of it. Oh, I love landslide. My mom at her funeral wants spirit in the sky, which is pretty awesome. If you knew my mom, that's very fitting for her. She's very um, witchy in a good way. She's a free spirit. She's very hippie. She's still kind of that girl from the seventies, like live and let live. She's carefree. She's so cool. My mom, definitely that song resonates. Hey, John Van Geest. Welcome brother. Uh-huh. I can see that about you, Chow Yun Smut. Oh, Geoplanet, Jane, I'm sorry you lost your cat, though. Yeah, I love Landslide. Who doesn't love Stevie Nicks? Oh, my God, I love Stevie Nicks. She's amazing. She has the most amazing voice. Guys, okay, it's been an hour and a half. I said an hour. This is what I mean. I can't, I can't seem to get my life together. Um, F Scientology. I've missed you, my love. I went down a protest. I'm stoked to see you on the board of SPTV. Perfect. Did he announce that? I guess so. Thank you. Yeah. So I uh, never, uh, 
never been on the board of anything and I don't feel like I am smart enough or impart important enough to do so, but we're going to see how that goes and roll the dice girl. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pat Benatar rocks my socks. Okay. We'll still GeoPlanet Jane. I'm sorry to hear that. John. Yes. I'm just glad you made it brother. We all know this about you, Reese. You know what about me? Oh, that I took too long that I said it was going to be short and it wasn't. I know, Anita, but I got to get in the show. Oh, my fuck. It's 9 o'clock. God, I can't seem to get my life together. I just can't. I can't seem to get it together. I can't. I try. I think I'm there. I'm climbing it. Guess who I brought down? Thank you, Blakey. I know. Midwest goodbye. Guys, I'm going to show this before I go. Thank you, Marie Marion. Guess who I brought down? Does everybody know who Butch is from my fifth birthday? I found Butch. Hey, Sharon Spaghetti. I got Butch out. I found him. And uh, <laughs> Lisa E. Look. This is Butch. This is Tommy. This is the this is the version of Tommy. This is what I was looking for at five. My mother uh, sewed his tail on upside down. See, it's supposed to be like this, but it stays like that because his tail fell off. Uh, this is Butch. That's what I picked out when I was five years old. This is my protector. Isn't he cute? This has somehow managed to stay with me since I was five years old. This is the thing I wanted so bad to protect me. This is what I picked and I named him Butch. And he looks like a badass. He looks tough. This is this is my Tommy. Yep. Isn't that wild? I think it's so cool that I still have this thing. This is old. He's in good shape. It's not bad. Not bad. I know. It's wild. It's wild that I still have that thing. Uh, so he'll stay down here with us for a while. We'll show him again and again. He's cute, isn't he? Uh, bye, Lumen. Oh, is it time for the lifeboat? Yeah, you guys go hop over to the lifeboat. Go say hi to Tommy. I love you all. Okay, one last announcement. You may not see me. I don't know yet. I may have to go help a family member. I don't know for sure, but it may be over the next couple of days. I'm waiting to hear. If you don't hear from me tomorrow or the next day, don't freak out. I will post it in the Facebook group. You probably will hear from me, but if you don't, I'm just telling you everything's okay, but I may have to go help a friend slash family member. Okay. I want you all to understand that. Um, I will pop in. If I do go help, uh, I will do shorter lives for sure, because I will be helping somebody and I won't be able to sit on a live for an hour or two. Okay. I love you guys. Um, have a good night and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Here comes Fred. Thank you for chatting with me guys. Love you all. Thanks for your super chats.